Hey everybody, my name is Abhijit. I'm a software engineer here at Sentry, and I work on the SDKs. React is the most popular front-end framework in the world, and we use it for our own front-end. And we now support React 19, out of the box. Upgrade your SDK to version 8.6.0, and it all just works. React 19 brings with it major improvements to the SDK's error monitoring features. Let's dive in to see how they work. When you typically use the Sentry React SDK, you do something like this. You add Sentry init to the top of your app. React itself does have a recommended error handling strategy. They call this error boundaries. To take advantage of error boundaries, we export a Sentry error boundary component from our SDK. The Sentry error boundary captures the original rendering error, but it also attaches the component stack that the error boundary itself generates. This component stack field contains a stack trace with the component that threw as well as the names and source locations of all of its parents' components. Now, because it's a stack trace, we can automatically parse and make it part of a Sentry event. Here's an example to show how cool this is. Due to the React internals and the async nature of JavaScript, it's hard to know why the specific variable is undefined here for this type error. We don't have many frames to rely on, but by looking at the error boundary error that was generated from the component stack that we got from the error boundary, we can see that this was from the base chart unwrap component rendered within the release adoption component. You instantly know where to start looking in your component tree to start debugging. Couple this with session replay, and it's easy peasy. You know exactly how to fix it. While you've always needed an error boundary to get a component stack, this is no longer the case. React 19 exposes two new hooks, on uncaught error and on caught error, that supply the original error and a component stack, always. No need to put error boundaries all around your app and you know, wrap everything everywhere with it. Via our new SDK API, a new React error handler, we can now attach this component stack that we get from the hooks to every error, so you know exactly what part of your component tree was causing problems. Nobody else is supporting this yet, so we're the first to do it. I'm pretty sure nobody else is even parsing and attaching the component stack to errors like we do, and we've been doing it forever since we had an error boundary component. My favorite part at Sentry is building these cool new features that push the envelope. So look forward to more of this from the SDKs. We want to keep being the best for every developer. Thank you.